Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist Man Defoe, Talk That Talk, Ghetto News and Opinions. Man, we at it again, man. Episode 9, Pop the Balloon or Find Love. That's the name of the episode. I mean, that's the name of the show, man. That's who I'm reviewing or making my comments about reacting to it, man. Um, I've been off this for a couple of days, man. I ain't gonna lie. Not that I don't like the show or nothing. I mean, I don't know, man. It's just something else about this show. Another element I done found out about this show. <clears throat> they had me just not, you know, not, 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 not so into it no more. My own petty reasons, but um, this episode nine, but a couple of days ago, they dropped a reunion for this show or a, a catch up or something. I think it was the reunion. But when I seen the reunion, I seen the host and she brought her husband out there. <clears throat> and her husband is when we know help her put the show together. But the thing about her husband is, he African. You know? So that, it kind of threw me off a little bit. <clears throat> Not because he's African, but it threw me off because I was wondering. I said, man, some goddamn Africans up here every damn show. A whole bunch of Africans from different cultures. I mean, not cultures, but different Af Africans. You know, Africans or different countries of where they from. They Nigerians. I see some Lagos people. I didn't see some... Ugandans, all this stuff. I kept wondering where all these damn Africans come. And come to find out, the host, her husband, is an African. I start thinking like, God damn, he trying to get all his little African homeboys, some bitches, or some. Or, or, is they scamming? Is it? You know, not not saying that all African scammers and all this stuff, but you know what I mean, man. I just feel like you trying to put the play together for all the Africans to get somebody. I saw. I, I was wondering why so many damn Africans on this show. Or in Arizona, because I ain't know Arizona was a hotbed for Africans. But I guess it is, and he bringing them up. He importing Africans to hook up with women. They trying to do some exchange program or something. So that's why I've been like, oh man. But I didn't commit it to it, man. We with nine, with eight episodes in. I said I might well finish it up, man. They just dropped another one today, episode um, eleven. Just dropped two hours ago. It looked like so. We gonna finish it up, man. We gonna, you know, but I, it took me out of it a little bit when I first, you know, when I seen that he was African. I'm like, oh, that's what it is. He didn't came through with the bag. He gonna hook her up. Get her. I don't know, man. I don't wanna talk bad about Africans and all this shit, man. But yo, we finna get into it, man. This pop the balloon episode nine, African edition. I'm playing. <laughs> It probably is. Let's see how many Africans on this. It's usually the African dudes, man. When you go, when there's women, I mean, when there's a, when there's a, um, women up there looking for a man, there's always a whole bunch of African dudes. I didn't notice that shit, man. So, let's just check this out, man. Episode 9. I'm my little rant. <clears throat> okay. Let's see these bitches. Let's get back to my shit. <coughs> It sound like an African beating everything now. Okay. Oh, shit. Mm. Look, look at this shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I see. Now my shit together. Okay, little pants. I love you. African Amuli. She didn't got the bag. She didn't let the African to give some money. That's what it was. Do me a show, baby. Yes, bring your Africans over here too. Bring my Africans. Over. Oh, Lord, bitch. Oh, Lord. Let's see what these dudes pick, boy. This ain't a healthy lineup. It's like Amory. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your host Arlette and we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And we have some beautiful single now, ladies Arlette. lined up. Make some noise, ladies. Trying <laughs> to find right. them bitches so an African man just like you, ain't you? single men one by one. 
Okay, when he comes out here, if he is your type, he fits all of your check boxes, you know, all that Let's good go stuff. Go back and look, man. Do not pop your balloon. Count African. However, if there's anything you're not feeling about him, you just cannot see yourself dating this guy, go ahead and pop it, and then I'll go over to each of you, see why I ended up popping, and hopefully we get some matches, yeah? <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and bring out our first on, single guy. See this nigga. See this nigga. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold this. Oh, What's shit. your name? Emeka. Emeka? Mm -hmm. All Emeka. right, Emeka, how old are you? 40. 40, okay, and what do you do? I'm Chief Product Officer at a FinTech. Oh, so. very okay. nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now what do you look for in a woman? Uh, well, uh, besides beauty, which passport. I see plentiful here yes. on the stage. Green card. Um, <laughs> That's what they see. This is what you look I would for. also say uh, an intellectually curious woman. I'm really into like an intelligent woman, someone who has other interests besides kind of the stuff that we see, you know, people being into celebrity or whatever, just something <laughs> more business, something, right? So uh, that would probably be my number two thing. And then God-fearing, of course, actually, that would be number okay. one, so. God yeah. Here. And now what are some of your deal breakers when it comes to someone you're dating? Um, we bitches ain't popping no a balloon. I don't know. I mean, I do know, but I, I, I'm, I'm, nigga, I'm uh, shy to streets, say them because I don't uh -oh. want people they ain't to they balloon. adapt too much. But um, you want the African one. money. I'll give you one. Uh -huh. Someone Monty with just an entitled mentality. I really can't stand like an entitlement. Mm. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you look abusive. I'll leave it at that. Like a whoop bitch. <laughs> so we still haven't got any pop balloons. I think Cigarette ladies... smokers, too. Yeah. yeah. No, no okay. cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> So I think the ladies still want to still know a little bit more about you. What do you like to do for fun? Oh, that bitch smokes cigarettes. Oh. <laughs> for fun. Uh, so Ooh, no, I like to Thank play you, soccer, no? watch movies, no flat play shoes, tennis. It, um, so I like to be pretty active. I like to hike, things like that outside. And then um, and everybody gosh, Arizona I can't really think hike. of anything else besides that. Yeah. Okay. I don't really everybody go out like in, I used to. Arizona. So, you know, just in the house. Read. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. All right. So we dig it. Travel. Pop travel. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everyone mm -hmm. loves traveling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go over to our pop balloon and see why they ended up popping. Okay. Cool. I smoke cigarettes. All right. If we can have your name I and age. I smoke with cigarettes. My name is Unique. I'm 31. Okay. And unique. unique, what do you do? Smoke I'm cigarettes. A beautician. I do hair and makeup. All right. Okay. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon? He said something about smoking. And I smoke. So I'm trying to quit. Mm -hmm. But I smoke. As of right now, I, I'm a smoker. Nothing to it but to do it on yeah. the court. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, that's pretty much. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then before he said that, you did have your balloon unpopped. Why did you? Yeah, because, I mean, I'm used to a certain type. And he's uh, honestly not something I would go for. Boom. And I'm trying to step out of my See what I tell you. comfort zone a little Everybody bit. Everybody want that African so money now. That's why I'm I was telling kinda, you. I was still waiting to pop my own. I'm on to y'all, okay. bitch. So, what's your usual type and what doesn't he kind of fit into? My usual type? Thug, light skin, dreads. Mm -hmm. It's hard to. <laughs> <laughs> Not him? I'm used to like, yeah, the total opposite. Okay. Just the total opposite of him. Mm. It's, I don't want to say too much, but I've Thug, been a long time. light skin, dreads. So okay. I don't want to. I've been kids up until adults, so okay. I don't put too much on it, but he's he seemed different. Mm. Very handsome. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And now, Emeka, is unique your type? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, I love your hair, and I love your skin tone. Um, the overall beauty is there, for sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, the street tattoos, well, no, no ain't buts, it? Just, you know, not the tattoos necessarily from the streets, bitch. traditional type. Okay. Uh, oh, all right. shit. We'll go ahead and keep that. <laughs> Thank you. One, two, three, four. Uno, dos, Bounty Mega Roll. Four rolls in one. Uh, come on. Hey, with Priceline VIP Family, you can unlock good, deals five man. times faster. You don't even have to be Penny. an actual family. We did get a pop back here. All right, All right if we can have your you name. Get an Joe. I'm Jador Styles. I'm 31. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And Jador, uh, what do you do? I am a marketing manager mm. for the hottest clothing store in Arizona. Shout out Nickel City Baby. Okay, um, I'm also certified, uh, certified glass pants you got on, health technician, um, and I model. I do boots. a bunch of stuff, but I'll leave it there. Those are the main <laughs> things that I do. Okay, and now why did you end up popping your balloon? Look like I a really didn't something. want to. I really didn't, but I'm school. really looking for someone who like matches my fly. Trying to fly you know what I mean? And when you came out, you're so handsome and everything. It was just the outfit. That was that was really ah! good. I was like. That you know, put to know that you're going to be on this show, and then I'm just, 
I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> so what what about his outfit? Are you not feeling? She what? It's the jacket mm-hmm. and the fact that it's I don't I don't know. It's just the way it was styled. It's just yeah. I was just kind of like damn. He dressed like an African. Okay, that's what you chose. <laughs> it's up for y'all Africans now. Yeah. Let me figure it out, man. <laughs> now, Emeka is here, sheer man. type. Um, to some degree, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Degree, yeah. Okay. What makes her? Some Not degree, you're your type. You I think, uh, you know, the eye makeup is a little loud for me. <laughs> um, and uh, that, that's really it. And okay. the shoes are actually, I like the boots, but I would have put it with something different. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Thank you. Boots with so, the All fur. right. Uh, let's head on back over here. So I'm going to now switch it on pink over shoes. to you. Got some barber shoes. Um, <coughs> we got quite a few left, so I'll, um, this is a hard part. Unfortunately, I do have balloons. to have you pop someone's balloon based off of, you know, looks, mm-hmm. what you're not necessarily attractive to, mm-hmm. what doesn't really fall into your type. So let me go ahead and have you actually pop two of them. Let me give you two quick. That fourth one kind of tough. And then once you pop those two, I'll go ahead and follow you, and, you know, we'll get into a little bit more as to why you ended up popping theirs. Go ahead and get okay. the damn... Oh, it's hard. I know. The big girl. <laughs> Everyone the says big that. Girl from down at the <laughs> bottom. All right. I'm sorry. Okay, and one more. Mm-hmm. Going this is like <laughs> awkward. <laughs> yeah, everybody, awkward knows, everybody knows you. Yeah. Everybody knows you. Okay, you can just yeah. stay there. I'll come over here. Okay. All right. If we can have your name and age. I'm Micah, and I'm 33. And Micah, what do you do? I'm a product marketing manager for a tech company. Okay. Nice. Now, Micah, why did you have your balloon unpopped for Emeka? I love his style, and he's very handsome. I like a nice beard. That's handsome. Yeah, he just looks good, and I liked his answers to the questions. Okay. Thank you. (laughs) Now, Emeka, why did we end up popping uh, Micah's? Uh, My my type, I like a little bit slimmer, usually. Um, That's just where I'm at right now. So, you know, that that was kind of the, yeah. Reason. Mm-hmm. Understandable. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Now you did pop one more back love. here. Let's go over here. <laughs> if we can have your name and age. I'm Brittany. I'm 28. And Brittany, what do you do? I'm a reservations agent for the airlines. Okay. And why did you have your balloon unpopped for Mecca? I think he's cute. He's well spoken, nice teeth, good skin complexion. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, Mecca, why did we end up popping Brittany's? You know, I don't have the best reason. I kind of I go back to that thing I said about yeah, slim, you. and also prefer darker skin. And I think she has the lightest skin up here. And it's not even that you're light skin. It's just, yeah. hey, she made me choose, so I had to That's choose. Fine. Little bitch in the red. She's like, oh shit. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right thank you. And now we did get a pop yeah, balloon. Yeah, we did. Let's go we did. On I want to hear this one. <laughs> All right. If we can have your name and age. <laughs> My name is Tatiana. I'm 25. Okay, oh. Tatiana, Why what do you Why you dress like Screech? Um, right now I'm a delivery driver for Amazon. Um, okay. I model on the side. I graphic design on the side, too. And shit, I'm sorry. also an aspiring actor. Um, you need my reason now. Actress? Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you pop? I feel like I'm going to sound like such a child. You seem like you're a lot more well put together than I am right now, and you seem a little bit more precise with what you want. Okay. I don't see myself fitting into that category with you, my Hey, guy. that's all right. I feel like you could, like... Maybe like loosen up a little bit. You That's the best like, answer yeah. I heard on these, sh- on these like, shows, you, you man. Seem like nine you episodes could be fun. Yeah, but like, uh, like I ain't ready for my all fun that. Compared to your fun, yeah. How, how are we gonna get along with that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, you know. I love that you said that, and I know that that's how I come <coughs> off, and I come off that way a bit on purpose. But you'd be surprised at how open-minded yeah. I am and the kind of fun I have. You'd you be surprised. You telling me I regretted popping my balloon or something? I mean, we may never know. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Where are you from, though? Because your accent is. Um, so I grew up in uh, I grew up in Guadalupe, Tempe area out okay. here. But what's funny is because like I was raised by a bunch of New Yorkers. Ah, yeah. I'm a native Arizonan. Uh, interesting. Everybody from the East Coast. Got it. That makes sense. Okay, <laughs> that's what I thought I heard, but I wasn't sure. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. All righty. All right. I don't like anything. You don't like nothing. But Downy Light is just right. Downy Light, just right. Oh, you heard. It. Let's go over right, here. Man. If we can have your name and age. So my name is Brittany also. I'm 31. Mm-hmm. Brittany, what do you do? I'm a counselor. Okay. And now why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I just want to hear more about him. He looks good. I love your outfit. Um, it's just the age. He's 40. Mm-hmm. Um, never hey, talked to anybody that old. I'm not 41. saying that. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But I just, just the age okay. for me. Yeah. Okay. He's 40. Yeah. Cool. Wow. No, um, Bitch, you said he was 40 when he first came type. out. Yeah, I would say so. So it took you that long to figure out he was 40. What makes her your type? 
Um, she's petite and she's well spoken and uh, she has a, a natural hairstyle, mm -hmm. which I prefer. And yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Now, have you ever gotten like the age thing before that women tell you you're a too old for them or? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's happened before, but it's only because like I've approached someone without knowing how old they were and they were like 22 or something like that. Oh, but not usually, not usually, no. Mm -hmm. All right, but yeah, no, oh, you have some hips over there. Just the age. Just the age. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Understood. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we do still have three ladies left. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these ladies a question just to kind of help you narrow down Come on. who you're more matched up with. Is it the same question to all three? Or? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Partner or princess? Okay, let's start over here. Mm -hmm. if we, and you can always ask them to elaborate. If we can have your name and age and what you do. My name is Brenda. Mm -hmm. I'm an HR business partner at the hospitals. Mm -hmm. And I also have a business on the side. I'm a private chef. Okay. Okay. How old are you? I'm 36. Mm -hmm. Oh, they look like they match. So to answer this question, partner yeah. or princess? Uh, ooh. I'm in between. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm in between. Mm -hmm. I can be a princess, mm -hmm. and I also can be a partner. Okay. Mm -hmm. She has some okay. she got good skin. Yeah. <laughs> good skin. <Lonely. laughs> get your arms. All right. Your name and age and what you do. I'm Nova. I'm 30, and I'm a licensed esthetician. Okay. And oh, now, yes, partner or princess? He, Both. Mm -hmm. uh, you going um, for old girl? Can you go, elaborate on go, that? Go, go, go on for dark skin down yeah, there. Yeah, sure. So, do you see yourself name? as more? Of a partner, I'm thinking about marriage now. Dark skin, y'all look right um, together. She's 36. In, part, in marriage, 40. you see yourself more as a partner old, with your husband so. or a princess of oh, your husband. Oh, definitely a partner then. Yeah, okay. for sure. I believe that's marriage is teamwork for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If we can have your name, age, and what you do. My name is Australia. I'm 31, um, and I have my own consulting firm where I do um, logistics. I'm a property manager. I'm sorry, a property owner, <laughs> um, as well as I do recruitment. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm also a partner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. All right. Do you yeah, want to add on to that or? Nah. Um, <laughs> let me. You're in the pink and the flat. Instead, let me just, can I ask another question? Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, second question. What is your dream for your life? Ooh. Come on, good skin. Mm. So many things. You um, about the best one up there. Well, I do want to settle down. Mm-hmm. I feel like I am somebody who can bring a lot to the table. And thirdly, um, I'm fun. Yeah. Nah. What more do you want out of that? <laughs> <laughs> Women say they fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, bitch. You ain't fun. Same question. Yes. Um, where I see myself in five years, I do have a... What's your dream for your life? I just want to make dream sure. Dream for my life? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he didn't ask so you that. Dream for my life, I do want to be a business owner, which mm -hmm. I'm... You're too young. Taking she, that, the steps for that. She's too young. She's and too I'm also in nursing school, so I do see myself being an aesthetic nurse and with or without me to take care of them. myself financially for mm -hmm. sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> your dream for your life? Yes. Right, yeah. So I've spent the last five years building my business mm -hmm. um, and traveling the world, mm -hmm. so I am mm -hmm. trying to get into a place where I want to settle down, have children, um, and continue to grow. You know, okay. Really. All right, Emeka, I'm going to have you <coughs> pop someone's balloon. <laughs> okay, why did we end up popping hers? Um, in, her, in her dream, she only mentioned career, and she didn't mention any other aspect of her life. And as much as I value my career and careers in general Pretty and making money, um, you know, there's more to life than that. And I just, it's red. you know, so that's why I leave the question so open, is I want to hear how they envision their own dream. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thank you. You going, bitch? All right. So we do have two ladies left. You always step so far sorry, away. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ladies. Do we have a question for Mecca before we have him pick? Don't say nothing, Red. Do Don't say nothing, Snoop. Yes. Okay. We'll start here, and then we'll go to you. <laughs> All right, Emeka, so in uh, the questions you asked earlier, same thing. What are you looking for in a woman? Um, so I'm definitely looking for a partner, 100%. And I think... I think a wise woman would understand that um, if she were a good partner to her husband, that the princess treatment or queen treatment or whatever it is you're looking for is going to follow, right? So I think that, um, you know, I'm a divorcee, and so I'm looking for someone who's truly like a thought wow. partner mm -hmm. and a nurturer and all these other things. And so 
Um, yeah, so that's maybe something I'm a little bit on guard about maybe, and I just want to like make sure, which obviously it's not going to happen in 30 seconds <laughs> on this thing, but I just want to know where your, where your head is kind of. Um, okay, okay. Um, I'm also looking, something I'd, people mentioned that I didn't mention at the beginning is I'm also looking for someone who's like open-minded and not judgmental, mm -hmm. and part of that is because of the fun I want to have, but uh, the other part of that is just like, I like to explore you know, ideas, it, and I don't like for too many things to be off limits, just because I'm a curious person, yeah, intellectually curious. Okay. Curious George? I'm sorry, divorcee. Mm -hmm. Oh! Sorry, okay, so yeah. it was him being a divorcee. Yes, yes, great looking guy, mm -hmm. well put together. Um, I think it's more so, have you healed from that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And How um, you know, bitch? me popping the balloon is, I've met a lot of divorcees, mm -hmm. and I don't want to be in that position again. Understood. She's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. She kind of like Thank you. the dark skin Stacey Dash. Here. She had like a little. All right. You had a question for Mecca. Do you have children? I do not. Okay. Do you want them? I would like some, How yes. many are we having? Oh, <laughs> we? <laughs> uh, between two and four. Okay. Because yeah. I say five, three to five, so that oh, works. Okay. Do you have any children? I do not have any children. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Let's just walk on up here. Let's let's go. Yes, ma'am. Come on up here. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Any final like questions asking, asking. before we determine if there's going to be a yes for either one of you? I do not at this time. I do not at this time. I don't think. Yeah. Oh, we got it. Okay, no, wait, hold on. Let me, let me, let me backtrack. So just to confirm, it's going to be a yes for you for him. It's a yes. And it's a yes for you for her. Sure, it's a yes. We sure. got a match. I did not see it. That bitch came out of the All damn. Right, I'll take this mic. Came and out you the, guys can go on off. Let's quarter. give it up for them. Ninth inning. <laughs> <laughs> that was you, Red. That was you. <laughs> you for a limited that. time, you save you $10 on Powerbomb. See the next nigga. You better get somebody not red. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Let's see this nigga. There you go. Welcome Girl, in. What's your name? You. What? Philip. Philip, how old are you? Ah! Thirty-four. Ah! Thirty-four. And what do you do? I'm the assistant track coach at Arizona State. Okay. Okay. Very nice. And now, what do you look for in a He's woman? He's a runner and a track Fun, star. Personality. Just. Open <coughs> okay. All right. And now, what are some of your pimp. breakers? I mean, assistant coach. Women? Probably being close-minded, mm. just not willing to grow, mature. I think that over the course of a year, in some way, you got to just grow in some capacity. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now, Philip, what are some of the things you like to do for fun? Uh, I travel a lot. Okay. Um, I was in Philly last week. Nice. I'll be in Denver next week. Uh, I like to cook. Roller skate, a little bit of everything. Okay, very cool. All right, so we did Roller get skate. one pop balloon. Let's go on over there and see what's going on. All right, if we can have your name and age. I'm Tatiana, I'm 25. Nice and to meet you. Tatiana, we have you stand here, Philip. Oh, no problem. Thank you. <laughs> I said nice to meet you. Oh, nice. Okay, I really did not know what you said. Like, it like, was mumbled. My fault. Oh, no Tatiana, problem. Tatiana, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, It's not that, like, you're ugly or nothing. Yeah. I just am not attracted honestly for sure like you, you you look good though like the suit you put that on appreciate it but just not for me she for is sure. good okay she and right. is there anything specific that makes him not for you i don't want to be like it's gonna sound ruthless like okay like completely respectfully like you just i i'm a goofy person but you just <laughs> look a little bit too goofy for me <laughs> see that's why i didn't want to say shit Okay. <laughs> no, I understand. I she get fun. You're not look ugly, though. That's the thing. Like, you don't look bad. I just am not into it. Appreciate it. Why she standing like that? Ugh, now, Philip, is Tatiana the someone that's your type? Mm. I would have to just know your personality. Mm. She goofy. You can okay. tell. If I show you this truth, is it going to change you? No. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> Let's go back over here. Ooh, she, she a homeboy. <laughs> All like right. She hate, like so she got older brothers and shit. Quite a few balloons left unpopped. So we are going to switch it on over to you for the first round. I'm going to have you eliminate two girls just based off of, you know, what's really not your type or what you wouldn't really, really go for. Sure. So let me give this over to you. Childbearing hips. And you can go on over and pop those two, and then I'll come after you and ask you why we ended up popping. So just go ahead. This is like Coleman right. Domingo. Going to get hips. 
Big girl. Okay. Oh. One If we you can have like your name colorful ass pattern I'm Jador Styles. I'm 31. Jador Styles. And Jador, why did you have your You're trying to say unpopped? styles on everything, Um, Because he looks good and he's very well put together. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right. And now, uh, Philip, why did we end up popping Jadors? I mean, honestly, you put yourself together very nice. Thank but you. But I just think as far as attraction, just immediately just didn't really click. Oh, damn. Thank you. And tea. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Now, is there anything specific that you know? I know you said y'all roll really putting that big girl up there specific? by herself. No, you mm -hmm. at least put two big girls up Thank there. Y'all the can't be Let's doing this shit, man. Here, it is. He look gay as hell. Have your girl. name and age. Hi, I'm Micah, and I'm 33. All right, nice to meet you, <laughs> Micah. Why did you have your balloon unpopped? I had my balloon unpopped because I love his style. I love natural hair too. So Blue, 42. Right. On that, and yeah, I wanted to hear more about him so i was wanting some questions to be answered so okay all right and sure. now Philip, why do we end up back with y'all uh, talking Micah's. about man i think just from uh immediate but first impression Uncle Mac, just Uncle Mac, not I my slam type. dunk a big okay. ass okay. <laughs> and what makes her not your type <laughs> um i typically like slimmer women okay. for sure but again no offense um uh, you know like look mean, nice boy, and uh that bitch going that's, tonight y'all better pick her somebody better pick her oh, yeah. thank you yeah, fucking tonight. okay so philip for this <coughs> next round i'm gonna ask the ladies a question it's so a question that's gonna go to all of them that's just that last call for alcohol though see who you're more matched up she going. okay first question do you have a relationship with god okay let's start right here everybody all godly and shit and do you have a relationship with god hi nice to meet you i'm Brittany, and i'm 28 and I do. I want to get more into my relationship with God and, go, and like going to church and stuff. So. Yeah. Oh nah, a nigga okay. gonna make you go to church and stuff. Yeah. You ain't shit. <laughs> Your name and age, and do you have a relationship with God? Yes, my name is Brenda. I'm 36. Absolutely. Great well, skin, Brenda. Bible study is a must. So yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. All right, well, look. <laughs> Your name and age, and do you have a relationship with God? My name is Brittany. I'm 31, and of course, she he's look, number she one. She look funky. Yes. Okay. She a funky sure. little bitch. She got an attitude nice problem. <laughs> Your name and age, and do you have a relationship with God? I'm Nova, and I'm 30 years old, and I do have a relationship with God. I would like to build on that, um, but yeah, she looks spirituality. More she, spiritual yeah, man. Than I am religious, um, but yeah. She gonna I, light incense and sage before y'all fuck. Okay. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a whole production. Not subscribe to a specific. Denomination. It's gonna be by no, the moonlight. Yeah, I don't. It's I like to study on the third have a trimester Quran, of have, um, the third have phase of the moon or something. A lot of the different Bibles uh, from different religions. So I like to study See, on them to really them, like understand what weird I'm bitches. Well, she probably believing. Well, look. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at right freak. now in life. Okay. Yeah. I know that bitch. I don't know her. Get Fabrice car <laughs> and get consistent Febreze fresh whole area last for forty up. days. Come on, man. All right, cool. Thank you. Now we did get a pop balloon over here. If we can have your name and age. And I, what up? You move all this shit? How My you, name is Unique. How you hit that from nice the back? Nice to meet you. She I'm got 31. shit stain on the back of her damn. And I popped because she asked about the relationship with God. This shit right in the crack and of her ass. I was raised in a household where I was told that I'm I'm a God, so I really don't go to church. I'm mm -hmm. real spiritual. Okay. If that makes sense. That was why I popped. But I love. The outfit that's why i didn't pop mm -hmm. and i wanted to get the to know something about being a track coach yes you work with kids well grown kids grown kids <laughs> i got grown yeah. kids i bet you so do that's what made me like really wanted to get to know more okay okay she got good skin too no she i put will say tattoos you know, on. there's a verse in the bible mm -hmm. that says greater than is he who is in me than he who's in the world that's so true. god always dwells within us right and flow so to me i'm not you know, caught on like the denominations as much. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a Baptist church. Okay. But mm -hmm. just having some type of relationship is With, what's important to me. Got it. Got I, grew, it. I mean, I, I wouldn't say grew up in a church, but I, I have went to church mm -hmm. as I was young. My mom. Don't you know, explain yourself to the day. You popped your balloon. Side, so she kind of gave us the choice, if that makes sense. For sure. And she got her own little yeah, swag. So really she kind of cute, not, though. That's what I'm saying. We need, we need some closer myself, cameras to get in these bitches' faces. So I kind of need to see these bitches. Okay, so look, she, she looked better up close than she do just Thank looking you. at it right there. It's like, hmm. okay, All that so shit she based head. off of those responses you got, I'm going to have you go ahead and pop two of these ladies' balloons. <laughs> that nigga lying about crazy. Got to pop two. Pop two, nigga. Okay. <laughs> Get the first one. Yeah. Oh. All right, so why did we end up popping hers? 
So you had a good response, and honestly, all four of you pretty much said the same thing. Yeah. So I don't really feel like there's a full justification on just, oh, yeah, I just have to pop it, but I had to pick two people. Okay, okay. And was there – their answers not didn't resonate with you as much or like what was it honestly i i think your res, uh, your answer did yeah, yeah, resonate yeah. very well so you know i don't have anything negative to say against that okay. all right <laughs> do you want to add something oh, no, i thought you were gonna ask me why i came up with oh. <laughs> no it's fine She's all right crazy. now why do we end up popping hers i mean pretty much the same thing okay. i just okay. feel that because hey, i had to pick two right you know it's pretty much yeah, that bitch looking same, at the side of, but the I feel as far as what you said, Dustin it's not Diamond outfit. That's what she look like. In line she she dressed like Dustin said. Diamond. Yeah, I agree. It R.I.P. Screech. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we do have she two ladies left. Too, I believe. Ladies, I do we have a she question that we want to ask clothes. Philip? Yes. Okay, let's start here. Do you have kids? No, I don't. Do you want kids? Yes, I do. Okay. She looks like somebody look. I She's like my little kids. nephew. Okay. I do want kids, though. Yeah. Okay. And where where are you from again? Ohio. Okay. Yeah. I can hear your accent. <laughs> oh, I don't hear it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You like a young Malachi? Yes. Where are you from originally? I'm originally from mm -hmm. Kansas, mm -hmm. and then I lived in Houston, Texas for ten years. I'm from Houston, oh, nigga. Okay. From Houston too. I've lived there too. Okay. Uh, so what part? What what part of Houston? Uh, I went to U of H. So downtown Houston was, okay. the, was the spot. And you said you were there for 10 years? Yes. Okay, very good. Yeah, I got my master's from Prairie View. Oh, oh very good, very yeah. good. Okay. Uh, do you have kids? I think you just said no. No, no, okay. no kids. You don't listen, bitch. Pop a balloon. Do you have kids? I don't have kids. I would like kids. She has some good skin. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's all I have right now. <laughs> All right, any final questions before you make your decision off of these ladies here? Sure. Uh -huh. So every day, what would you say drives you? Like, what do you feel your purpose is? That's some corny-ass shit. I feel like my purpose is, ooh, let me think about that. <laughs> um, really just getting up, doing what I want to do, and chasing all my dreams. Um, I like to do, like, content I bet she creation. like her daddy. So, like, TikTok. I really am like big on that. Hey, Earl, and, like, I'm trying to chase Earl, my Lord. dreams. I follow like, my vision board, trying to do everything that's on my vision board to complete it this year. So, day to drive like, trucks. That's what I wake up and look at it every day, try to chase everything my that's daddy on there. So, like it that. motivates me. Okay, mm. for sure. A daddy, a man. Hmm. Good question. Um, mm. I'm a people person. Come on, chocolate brownie. So, a lot of times I get myself involved with community, community Chocolate service, brownie. things like that. I, my love brownie? language is acts of service. So okay. um, with that being said, that pushes me to get to know somebody in depth. Um, I know everybody is on a nasty. journey, so I understand that it does take time for you to get to know somebody. So my passion is understanding who you are and your core values in order for me to know for sure. where this is for aligned. Sure. Yeah. For okay. Shizzle. And then can I ask a follow up to that? Oh, yeah. God damn, nigga. So you said acts of service. So yes. do you feel trying to find a bitch. To people is something to important to you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, listen, we, uh, it's important because it helps me understand what your passions are. Uh, it understands day. the type of person you are mm. and your values and morals. So I think it is important to, you know, it's full Those circle. So you have to definitely be in, in tuned with that. For sure. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. My London All knife, right. mate. So, we only have our two ladies left here. I am going to have you eliminate one of them, and the other one will hopefully be your match. So, I'll go ahead and leave the floor to you. Right. <laughs> you made this shit hard to get into. All right. Oh. Well, we end up popping hers. <laughs> so, again, you had a great answer. I think mm -hmm. what There's resonated with me, with you, was uh, the vision board, because I have a vision board, mm -hmm. and I'm very big on law of attraction, affirmations, manifestation, but mm. that is really it. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, Brittany, let me have you <laughs> step on over here. Okay, so I have one final question, if there are no further questions between either one of you. I do. Oh, okay. okay. So how do you handle disagreements in like a relationship, like arguing and stuff like that? I walk away. So I like to listen, 
to nope. understand versus Not listening me. to reply I ain't gonna argue with or you. just ignoring. Huh? So I think what? listening to try to figure out what the Shut real problem down. is is where I'd like to start. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> is it gonna be a yes for you for her? Hold on. Before we get into this, man, that was a good question she asked about how you deal with arguments and all that stuff. Not me. I ain't dealing with no argument, man, because if we argue, that means you wrong and I'm right. And I can't prove to you that I'm, I mean, I can't prove to you that I'm right. So I'd rather not even talk to you. I ain't trying to figure out why I'm wrong and you right or the, all that bullshit. If me and you arguing about something right or wrong, I'm right. You wrong. Because we arguing. That's the reason why we have an argument. And um, ain't no need to do that shit. Just walk away. That's what I tell everybody, man. Walk away. Yes. And it's a yes for you for him? Yes. We got a match! Yeah. Everybody find the matches. All right, I'll take this mic. The two matches and in a row. And you guys can go on off. <laughs> two matches in a row? Yes! <laughs> They're so cute! Get somebody in there for the big girl. Grab Justin Heron. Lock it away. Better than a broom. Love it or Better than a broom. Love it or your money back. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Welcome in. Oh, Lord, this nigga. He's back. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Pop your shit, big girl. If we can have your name. Pop your that shit, big girl. That was so fast. <laughs> I was not expecting that. What's your name, sir? Hi, my name is Dr. Elam. Dr. Elam. <laughs> I know that name. Uh, Y'all know Elam, who I am? How old are you? That's not fair. Dr. Elam, how I'm old are you? <laughs> I'm 30. I even know that nigga. Okay, all right. That nigga was too WC smooth. You pointed out Dr. Elam. What kind of doctor are you? What do you do? Yeah, I'm a dentist. So actually, please forgive me for my attire. I had an emergency earlier and I had to rush here. So I didn't have time to change. <laughs> yeah, that nigga's so <laughs> zest. not even looking at my face. Okay, so uh, okay. I, I am a traveling dentist. I travel up and down the west coast pulling teeth and placing implants for those who need it okay. big girl right. say yourself you trouble. Trouble. what i look for in a woman is pretty universal and i'm not sure if it's been explained this way but i'm gonna try there's three things that every man wants and if you do these three things you can procure any man that you want and this isn't my information that i just came up with this is actually research based and the first thing is being useful. How can you be useful to the person in your life? Why is that important? Because when you are a useful asset to the man that you want to be, then there is no way that he's ever going to want to get rid of you. The second thing <gasps> is you have to blow his mind in the bedroom. Blow what does that mean? That means you yeah. take the wildest, nastiest thing that you've ever done, figure out the wildest, nastiest thing that he's ever done, and Look at the big, that. big girl step foot. She like he can just get it from somewhere else. Now the third thing, and this thing is the most important thing. It doesn't matter if you do the first two things. If you don't do this last thing, you gotta do some shit in that bedroom, bitch. You then you won't be able to keep your man, and that is respect. Yeah. Always respect your man. Now, if you have any confusion as to what respect is, say to yourself, "Would I say this to the person who is writing my checks? <laughs> Would I say this to my boss?" And if you wouldn't. I Don't like say that. It to your man. I like that. So, and I, I, I I'm like that. For those three things. It's about the best thing that nigga ever said. So I like Dr. that Elam, part right there. We have you on episode two of Pop the Balloon or Find Love, and also in the get to know with you, we found out that you know it didn't really work out too much with your match. What happened there? Well, we decided that we wanted different things in life. We had a great conversation. We went to dinner. Sticking I gay. thought that she was first class, but ultimately we decided to just be friends okay. and. Just support each other along our journeys. Okay, sounds good. So we did get a couple of pot balloons here. Couple. Let's go over Look at the big girl. The big girl, like, fuck it, man. Please, let's. let's. <laughs> I'm standing up in All these right, big ass heels. We can have nothing. your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Brenda. I'm 36. Okay. The reason why I popped. He from school, these bitches. Man. Well put together in the school dentistry bitches. world. That's amazing. You, I'm sure your love language is acts of service since you are in the dentistry world. But the way you answered that question... Actually, my love language is physical touch. Ah, oh, bitch. I think you know me. And quality time. Oh. 
and Three. words of affirmation. I, l I see that you like to interrupt. Oh. So I, I, yeah, I, I think apologize. I apologize. I apologize. It's best that I did. I mean, you did point. answer the question for him, though, bitch. You, <laughs> you said, no, I thank you. You can't. Someone that's your type. You know, I actually don't. You see, we see what she did there. She put she put out there a, a whole thing about him, and he didn't agree with her. So she okay, okay. No, nah, you like to interrupt bitches. You can't say you can't tell me me. I think your love language is acts of kindness. Nah, bitch, I ain't say that. I ain't even say that on the episode two. You see, it's one thing about bitches. They think they know shit all the time. They don't know shit, or they don't know you. You can't tell that man his answer know enough about her to make a valid decision on that but i love the dress you have a gorgeous smile i love what you've done with your makeup and your hair you're you know awesome thank you awesome. thank you okay thank you Let's look, go look at the here. bitch look, look, you can have your name look at screen name. screen's ready to get I'm into Jador. that nigga. i'm 31 right. and jador why did you end up popping your balloon dr elam kids. it's such a tragedy because you are so handsome i feel like you are extremely arrogant Ain't nothing wrong with that. I hey, feel hey. like you're probably gonna have a hard time because you seem like the type, like a know-it-all type of guy. And sometimes you have to be careful with that because even when you know it all, you don't know everything. Yes. You know, so if being I know all, I know everything. Sometimes can be your best friend, even if you do know it all. Bop in the head, Doctor Elam. Smart, Come on, let's get wise. Let's get these bitches. You know, but just having a humble attitude. You know what I mean. He you is humble. Probably go he humble. Further. He confident with his, his answers. Come on, and get I this say bitch. that with all the respect in the world. Get this bitch. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Who's go your ahead. dentist? <laughs> ah! Who is my dentist? Not you, sweetheart. You don't I'm have just one. Leave it right there. You, you got fucked oh, up I teeth. Know. Yeah. I'm not your dentist. Yeah. <coughs> okay. All right, let's, 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 let's go to our ah! next question here. Your name is Sisty ass for the ghetto. Pop? So my name is Brittany. I'm 31. I like know. she said, you look I'm really good. Dentist. I like that you do. Oh, you're in the dentist. You're a dentist, but you are given arrogant, and it's given toxic too. Like mm. you're given to. You want to debate all the time. Like you, it's like you're gonna give me a headache. And if you like, she said, if you do know it all, just a little bit better to be humble. Um, so that's it. But you look good. You're handsome, but it's just it's given toxic, and mm. I don't want that. Y'all, y'all, y'all with no confident man. Y'all can't control. Yeah, that's what and it is. Also, given like this is a joke to you, mm. like you just want to come over here just to say stuff to get a viral moment. I'm not feeling that. <laughs> Doctor Elam, <coughs> that yeah, may I don't be true. Really know what to say with that? I appreciate your perspective. I think that that may be true, but. I don't think I don't know, man. He he uh, he do seem like he seeking out something like he gonna be the next host of one of these shows or some the next Kevin Samuels because he do have an answer for every bitch and he do give answers for every bitch. They not say they calculated, but he already got the the gist of what he wanted to say to him and all that stuff. Like he like ain't nothing wrong with that. Like if he trying to boost off to something else, kick off to the next career and what he got going on, it's gonna work. It's going to work because soon he came out, everybody popped. I even know the nigga name. That's crazy. I know the nigga name. Your feelings are valid. Off one episode, soon that nigga popped. Oh, that's Dr. Elam, that nigga. He, he leave a mark. I like the way he talked to these bitches. Come on. Valid. And uh, if you are looking for a nuclear relationship, he said I probably am a red flag for you. Right, right. So you're probably right on that. Mm -hmm. well I love your honesty. <laughs> Thank you. All right. See, so I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of like that. Why you sense. ended up popping. Hi. I got a ringmaster. <laughs> My wife, she, um, she beats me. She ain't studying that shit, man. I'm talking about, she was like, cause she, she her own person. She a boss herself. She like, whatever. <laughs> you know, my wife ain't studying that shit, man. That's what I'm saying. These hoes ain't confident enough to have a confident man like this, yo. They ain't strong enough. <clears throat> I'm Nova. I'm 30. Um, the way Shorty yeah, right here looking in, in this damn against for me. I, I love a man that's very confident. Like you, she might say something, she might I'm not say nothing. Your horn every time I. But she get, got every something to I say. Get, that's but, the thing about um, it. And that's that's how my wife is. Horn, so I don't think I would be able to <laughs> accommodate that every day. Like you two and I'm one. trying to uplift and. It would nah. just be a roller coaster ride, like all the time. He, he'll like, get I you feel in. Like in we, would, we would constantly be at 
Nah, he'll get you. And I like yeah, them other hoes running in the room talking down on like him. He'll quiet. get you. I like. I feel like every day that bitch blinking be too much. Yeah, whatever. Something. Um, She's still looking not at the negative, negative, but just admiration. The energy would just be very high for me. Like, it sounds like self love is something that's challenging for you. <laughs> See? Self love. Oh, he, no, he turned it back on. Because if you loved yourself, shit. then you wouldn't have any problem loving me. Oh, ah, I, I love myself a lot, and I I want to be able to love someone. Uh, as much as I love myself, I, love so I myself. feel like you love yourself so much that there wouldn't be any room for me to love you. <laughs> nah. That sounded good, but it also didn't make very much sense That's because funny. love isn't a container. Love no, is something that container. you are. So I yeah. love myself. I've worked on myself, and uh-huh. I understand the tools that it takes to practice self-love. I mean, confident and in so himself. space and time isn't really an objective right. field that you Not need to use arts. as a barometer to see if it's possible that, you can love each other. Look at it's me. either you love yourself, and you can share that, or you're uncomfortable with it. Digging it. In the back. And so I feel She's that like, you're also it. uncomfortable me. with me loving look myself look as it. much no, as no, I no, do. No, no, look at no. it. No, no. And it's I'm coming off as arrogance. Look at this oh, bitch. Get to the next bitch. No, I, I want to see the next off bitch. Oh, you're coming off. Yeah, you, you do. Um, so my confidence is triggering you because no, it's no. reminding you. I love confidence. You know you I don't. Melt in it. He ain't disrespecting it's nobody up there. It's not about you not having self-love. It's about you not appreciating the self-love in other people. And that is a direct reflection of how you see yourself. It's The term is called projection. When mm. you see me shining, it reminds you that you're not shining enough. Oh, so when I said that I melt in confidence, that kind of went over your head? Oh. Melting in confidence is Self-love, it? confidence, all that in my man is very important to me because I don't want to date a man that does not love himself. He can get her. he won't love me. He can, talk, he can argue with her. He the like level this. of love will be different. Look, I'm really trying to follow you. I know, right. I know, but it's okay. He but your dismissive. ego won't allow you to take responsibility for your lack. And my that's lack? okay. Why are you rubbing this but other bitch? I don't lack anything, Look at babe. her. Pop y'all's balloon before you even got to know Dr. Elon. What a shame. What a shame. Uh, is it though? I don't, yeah. Um, you he, find your, your You people. said you watched the show before you got here, which means you have a preconceived indoctrination Boom. of who you think I am. Right. So you popped your balloon before you even got to know me based on what Can you've already seen, please. Why do you want to argue with me? I'm not arguing with you. Debate. I'm using an inflection that is emphasizing my point. You thinking that I'm <laughs> arguing <laughs> is words. a direct trigger that you can't handle Damn what it. I'm saying to you. Okay, yeah, get love, the bug. Um, love bug. Love yeah. bug. I've been here and done that. Yeah. Uh, okay, Thank yeah. You. Let's let's, so let's, names. Okay. let's let's see what's next. All right, if we can let's have see. your name and age and why you ended up popping. <laughs> My name is Tatiana. Um, I ain't studying that bullshit. <laughs> Boy. Who okay, Look at respectfully, him. where do I begin, my guy? You got a lot of dip on your chip, and I feel like the way that you come in at everybody else with like, oh, who's your dentist and everything, you finna ask me who my dentist is. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not with that just yet. I'm not, I'm not ready for that. I know it's true. Also, let me finish real quick, respectfully. I'm sorry, you know, because you interrupt everybody else. Let me speak real quick. I just personally feel like you're not used to a like, and I'm not trying to say like, oh, I'm alpha male, like you know, whatever. Like, you're not used to a dominant woman. I feel like you are like. It's easy kind of coming to you to belittle women a little bit. I understand where you're coming from with everything that you do, and I saw the last episode, but, like, you, you do come off as arrogant. Confidence is cool, but, like, know the difference a little bit. Get her. Get her. What you going to say about my tooth, bro? Why would I want a dominant woman when Next. I'm the dominant one? Go ahead. Nah, Maybe, I don't. You know. Can I ask you a question? Go yeah, ahead. yeah. I'm trying to well, get so it you off you. think you're the price? I know I'm the prize. You're the, the prize, prize to the men you don't want. Okay. When you get a man that you actually want, oh. please believe me, we're the prize. Okay. Next. Nah, it ain't next. He, he cut us some slack. Mm-hmm. This guy again. Hey, she worried about her tooth. You see something on your see? face? You needed a quick shave. Quick shave. Respect the process. Come on, man. My dad's razor. You don't need to see those razor. Your that bitch is worried about her tooth. She like, you talking about that bitch too? So what you gonna say about mine? Oh, um, uh, uh, I'm a dentist. You got a bitch scared. Look at her. This nigga. She got kids. She probably whoever got kids gonna cut into this nigga. Even age and why you ended up popping? My name is Unique. I'm 31. And I popped. Not that I disagree with how he is. I 
I love the fact. <laughs> I love how he Say is. Say it with your you know? chest, girl. Say because it with your he, chest. Because he has confidence. It's nothing wrong with how he is. Mm -hmm. It's not what I want at the moment because mm -hmm. I dealt with his kind before mm -hmm. in a way. Not exactly because, you know, everybody's different. But right, nobody like me. Say that shit, nigga. I dealt with his kind before, and there's nothing wrong with how he is. Okay. Boom! I feel like right now this is not the right platform for him mm -hmm. as far as in what he's looking for, or maybe he's still trying to figure out <coughs> what it is you want. I don't know. <coughs> Oh, 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 I know <laughs> what I want. Maybe you do know what you want. I know what I want. But obviously, it's multiple things that he wants mm -hmm. that he hasn't he hasn't found and received in one woman. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I heard. I, I agree with you. I okay, agree with there's you. nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with how you think, the confidence, all that. There's and look, you see how he's smitten now. You see how he is. Willing to. All the bitches wanted him. She even said she wanted him, but the way she said she didn't want him, and the reason why. Is now he is like, oh, it's the fucking chess match. You see how he, he he took he took back. He thinking he trying to receive all the information she given now. She fucked him up a little bit. Accept those things without her feeling like her light is getting dimmed. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So I I, I I have to find a woman who is strong enough to know. That her light can't be dimmed. Be dimmed. That. Hit me, hit me with your best <laughs> shot. Tell me your name again. T look. Unique. That is so special. Thank you. Look. Um, yeah, as far as the masculinity, like I said, it's not a gender. I feel like it's just, you know. So being dominant and being what was the word that she used? Um what was the word that you used? I forgot. It, Masculine. masculine. Mm -hmm. That is something that is not gender specific is what you're saying? No. I don't feel it is. I'm very I feel like I'm very dominant and masculine when I need to be. Mm. But Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What do you want? What do I want? At like out of a partner? What, why am I here? <laughs> I want my partner to be able to live in his confidence exactly like how you are but at the same time know exactly specifically what he wants he knows because exactly want. like i said you can feel one way right now but in a couple of months you're not going to feel the same everybody changes different levels you know if you get what i mean she so want to be dominant. by that line of reasoning people are making lifelong decisions based yeah. off of six months maybe a year so is that fair to say will you marry me based off of me knowing you for a year and a half is even though fair? you're going to change is it fair? Right. It's fair based on if that person agrees with, I mean. Maybe not fair. Is it feasible? Ah. Oh. I don't know the answer to that. Okay. I, do. Fine. I, yeah. I, yeah. I no, do. No, it's fine. It's all right. Let's go. Okay, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. Hi, I'm Micah. I'm 33. Nice. And I ended up popping, one, I actually agree with a lot of the stuff that you say. So the three reasons that you gave, um, before I agree with all three of those, so I think you're on to that. Um, I didn't really like how you showed up. I appreciate that you had emergency surgery. I love that. You know, the scrubs <laughs> are clean. I was wearing a white coat while I was <laughs> doing it, so. No, they're, I appreciate they're, they're, it. They're, they're, they're. I appreciate it. But yeah, that's really the only reason, to be honest. And I think we just probably. So if you would have seen me in the dental office, you would have been like, ah, this guy. I would have been like, yeah, nice smile, maybe. But the scrubs are, was do not doing it for me. I just feel like they said date ready and you've been here before so you know what's up and you say you were having right. emergency right. surgery right. is she, not she, an excuse. She, that's know, a weak excuse. I, I failed you no, on this you day. She, she kept, that's a weak excuse. I failed you. Cut <laughs> us okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I feel it Next dog. Next time I'll make my patients wait. Okay, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go back this way. <laughs> She she got okay, she tried so to get out of it. She didn't want to, you know. Popped. We weren't able to find you a match today, but let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. <laughs> I'll take the mic. Thank you. <laughs> He'll be back. <laughs> bitch is like, bitch is like, oh, yes. nigga, I was going to say three. something to his Safe, ass. regulated, and responsible. I think that's what we should cut it off at right there. Uh, all right, let's go. I, this is because we we'll just do a two part, man. We already an hour into this. It looked like, man, we we'll do that. So, hey, we we'll do part two because this should be long as hell to do. Pause. Um, no, did it. Whatever, y'all know what I mean. Um, so yeah, we are gonna get back into this, man. We are gonna do part two to this. We're gonna upload this and 
you know, whatever. How I go down, man. It's a good way to stop it. So be on the lookout for part two, man. Episode nine, Pop the Balloon to Find Love. This is Heist Man the Fold. I do this shit every Friday at 9 p.m. I go live anyway, doing something just like this, man. Y'all, uh, holla at your boy, Heist Man the Fold. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there. <laughs>